Hey, what's up guys? This is Alex and let's get right to it in this video. I'll show you how to get Baruch in case you have no idea how to get it. So first of all, you're going to you're going to need to have a max rank here with uh, Solaris United. So you're going to need old mate at the very least. Once you have the old mate, you can come back here and talk to uh, little duck. There we go. So you can talk to a little duck back here and you're going to need to have rank three, which is the hand with little duck in order to be able to buy everything. Uh, you get the Baruch blueprint at rank two, which is agent. And then you get the chassis systems and neural optics at rank three. Now in total for the blueprint as well as the three components, It'll cost you 70,000 credits, uh, three Vega toroids, six Cal de toroids, uh, 3,250 salvage, 2,850 alloy plates, 2,500 ferrite. So salvage alloy plates and ferrite is something that pretty much everyone's going to have, uh, that, let's be honest. Uh, also, you're going to need to do a little bit of mining. So you're going to need to have 150 Hess peasant or, uh, alloy. I have no idea how to say that. So 150 of those. You're going to need to do a little bit of fishing as well because you're going to need the uh, uh, Entroplasma as well as the Ecosynth Analyzer. So that's, uh, that's actually not hard to get. I'll show you guys a little bit later on how to get those specifically. And while you're doing the mining, uh, you're going to need five of the Marquis Thist. Now, why did I tell you you need max rank with um, Solaris United? First of all, the marquis this is the final uh you get this at the final rank so you're gonna need to rank up in order to get that and then you're gonna need five of the radiant zodian which is i totally forgot you needed that but yeah you're gonna need those uh which you can get as well from mining so basically you gotta do a little bit of mining a little bit of um fishing and then some toroid farm now if you want baruch right away and you don't want to wait the uh, 12 hours for the blueprints and three days for the uh, main Warframe blueprint. What you can actually do if you have the resources, you can go ahead and rush the parts. Um, the actual parts are going to take 25 platinum to rush for each one. While the blueprint itself is going to take 50 platinum to rush. In total, it's going to be 125 platinum. If you have the resources, that's way better than buying it off the market because if you buy this off the market it'll cost you 325 platinum so you'd be saving yourself uh 200 platinum you know and getting it right away if you got those resources on you if you don't then that's going to take a little bit more uh more time basically now for those of you that want this warframe and i'm telling you if you really want this warframe right away which i don't i, I don't know why you would you don't necessarily need this one right away because it's not a, I've been trying it a little bit and it's not like the greatest warframe there is but it's it's not bad but it's not like um, I, I don't can't really tell you which warframe right now that doesn't come to mind but it's not like amazing enough that you can justify just buying it off the market also if you don't have max rank with uh, Vox Solaris uh, not Vox Solaris, with uh, Solaris United. And if you don't have uh, rank 3 with Vox Solaris, uh, and you really want to get this Warframe, then I would, in that case, suggest that you get it from the market. It's uh, 325 Platinum, and I mean, it'll save you a whole lot of time uh, if you really want this Warframe right away. It's not necessary, honestly. Um, you're going to get it uh, basically eventually. So you're going to have this Warframe eventually if you're just playing the game. You know, you max out your uh, Solaris United and you rank up to three with Vox Solaris. What you're going to get with the uh, Orb, uh, Orb Mother fights and all that. As of right now, if you really, really want it and you don't have the ranks, go ahead and buy it off the market. Three, 325 Platinum if you want it and you want it right away and you have the materials and you have the ranks then you can just go ahead and rush the build for you know 125 platinum which is pretty cheap or if you just don't care at all you can go ahead and leave a building and that's actually what i usually usually do with the 
most warframes you just leave them building and pick them up in in three days basically so getting on to the materials uh 70 000 credits you'll be able to get pretty much anywhere uh the vega toroids is a different story so vega toroids uh you can go ahead and get them while killing enemies in spaceport so where is spaceport here uh basically over here so you can get them while killing enemies over here in spaceport um there's a bunch of videos out there and i've I, i've already shown a couple of uh a couple times how to farm this so you know most of you probably already know this by now now the uh calda toroids as well the car the calda toroids are acquired through killing people in enrichment labs which is somewhere here it is over here so you get these all obviously killing people in enrichment labs now with the launch of the orb mothers there's actually let me go back to fortuna the orb mother bounties actually give you a chance to get uh toroids which is what i suggest you do in order to get the uh toroids so let me just make my way over here so i don't tell you something that's not it i believe uh phase one gives you the vega while phase two gives you calda right. We're all here. okay come let's on get Let, let's get to it okay the profit taker phase one this one gives you a 12 percent 12 percent chance you don't you don't see it here but i have the drop list on another window so you got a 12 percent chance at the end of the bounty as of right now there isn't a there isn't a stage reward it's it's more of a bounty completion reward like a like a whole phase so once you complete the phase there's a 12 percent chance to get three vega toroids i suggest you do this method for the vega um for the toroid farming as killing people in the uh, enrichment labs and space uh, spaceport is it could take a while it's very rng heavy and uh i've done it before and it just didn't go too well so for this one i suggest farming this phase one and then uh, how do i go back here here we go so exit and then phase two gives you the cow toroid so i suggest farming this one so as well uh, same percent chance also you have a chance to get other things like the uh, new mods basically the, these are pretty good so all in all i suggest the torrid farming phase one and phase two of these you can repeat them as much as you want they're not necessarily too long so they're pretty easy to get i'm gonna go ahead and skip salvage alloy and ferrite because yeah, let's face it most pretty much everyone's gonna have that already if you're a beginner just making your way to fortuna it's gonna give you those resources and and let's be honest if you're building this you're not a beginner so you, you already have them moving on for the ecosynth analyzer and the entroplasma you can go ahead and make your way um over here to the business which is the uh fishing supplies is it, is it? yeah it is okay so you can make your way to over to the business for the fishing supply and pick yourself up a um a tromazon bait because you're going to be fishing tromazon for the entroplasma you get entroplasma dismantling the tromazon you get one per uh tromazon it doesn't matter if it's a small medium large whatever so you get one per and then for the um ecosynth analyzer that's going to be uh, where is it uh synethid okay let me actually pick up some of these because i don't i don't have any more okay that's probably too much okay so you're gonna need the synethid Cine as well as the trium uh, trom tromizon tra yeah that one okay you guys get it you're gonna need these two basically uh to fish both of these let me show you real quick where the fishing spots uh that i use are so that you can get them uh for the synethid they're a bit of a pain in the ass and normally you can find them uh in groups of uh per bait pretty much they'll come up like four or five at a time so if you get lucky you can get all five they're kind of hard to see in the water and i'll show you what i mean in just a second first let me go to the spot where i like to fish the tromazon which is all the way out here go ahead okay i don't i'm using baruch so i don't have my awesome uh zephyr which is what i actually like to use when i'm like gliding my way through uh 
Planes of Eidolon or, or Valus. It's it's actually a lot more fun than using Arcwing. I, I don't know why. I just don't like Arcwing out here. So, moving on. Almost getting there. Could have probably cut this part out, to be honest. So, the this spot is going to be for the uh, Tromazon. Tromazon. Okay, that guy. First of all, check the weather. They like to come out in the cold. If it's warm, there's a pretty big chance that you're not going to see it. As soon as you get up here, let's go ahead and break these real quick. I don't like having a leak, like the plant when I'm fishing. So I usually just drop the bait right here. Let me go ahead and pick up the shock rod. No, the stunner. This is the one that stuns the fishes. And let's go ahead and drop the Traumazon bait right over here. And I'll cut right to it. Uh, that way I don't have you guys here like watching me for hours until I finally get one to spawn. Uh, more realistically, it's going to take just a couple of minutes. All right, here we go. Uh, I actually went ahead and dropped the bait over there. This took about three, three-ish minutes, maybe. Uh, the, I don't, I don't know. But when I actually hit this bar, I think the issue is that it wasn't uh, cold enough. So now that it's freezing, they're actually we got three of them coming up. So let's go ahead and catch them if I can. Kind of suck at fishing. So there we go. We got them to spawn. Basically, this is the spot where I like them to spawn. Normally, I notice that they usually spawn when the uh, weather is freezing. So if you don't know how to check that, you can go ahead and press uh, M on your keyboard. Okay, that's the last one. Press M on your keyboard. Go ahead and uh, bring up the big map. And you can see it right, right here. This is the temperature. So we got freezing from this... Uh, from the beginning of this line to the ending of this line so it's a pretty big period uh let's go ahead now that we got the uh traumas on i believe they spawn without bait but um okay we got two more let me go ahead and uh, get okay that that's it it was good enough that i got three in a row that okay whatever uh screw them Let's go ahead and, and forget that. Uh, you can get them to probably spawn without bait, but it's not going to be as often and it probably isn't going to be in like big amounts. So I'd suggest you uh, bring bait and make this a lot easier on yourself. That's a uh, four. And I got a resource booster, so that's actually going to be eight. And with this one, I'm going to have enough for ten of the um, uh, Echoplasma that you're going to need for the uh, Baruch parts now moving on to the ecosynth analyzer which is going to be the synethid uh, i like to get those from this cave back here um let's go ahead and make our way over there real quick all right getting to the cave over here um where's the entrance i i totally forgot okay I, I totally missed the entrance. All right, so getting into the cave, the first thing you want to do for these um, is look for the fishing hotspot as uh, I haven't actually gotten it to spawn. Okay, here it is right off the bat. We got the fishing hotspot here, which is, uh, it looks like an Eidolon is about to be summoned from here, which is like the little teal-ish water. You can notice the difference as the water over here is just uh, like regular bluish. And you can see like a green glow on this side. So go ahead and get your synethid. Okay, I could have sworn I had uh, my bad. Let me go ahead and pull up the uh, fishing spear real quick. Let's get that synethid bait. Drop it in here. And it's just a matter of time before they start spawning. Now, synethid uh, usually spawns in cold or warm weather. I actually don't think it matters inside of, a li uh, of the uh, caves. Uh, as you can see, it, it already spawns. So we got one in here. They're a little bit hard to spot as they're uh, kind of skinny. Let me see. Right here, we got one. They're very skinny and, and hard to spot and hard to get. So it's going to take a like a very sharp eye to get these guys. Um, what I usually like to do is double jump and uh, aim glide while in the air. And it kind of uh, highlights them a little bit better. Or you can just get the um, the bait thing that highlights the fishes from Plains of Eidolon uh, over there. Uh, you, you can probably pick it up from, 
I forgot the name honestly I, I don't even know I haven't been there in a while so we got another one spawning here there see I can see him there but just barely let's go ahead and get that guy or not just kidding not getting him oh hey it's coming to me no that's that wasn't it okay here it is and I totally suck at this hey we got some caramel that, that's nice so basically get get all these fishes it's it's not gonna take a very long time and if you got a resource booster it's it's only gonna take two uh, three of these as one e each one drops one it doesn't matter if it's small medium or large okay I'm, I'm giving up whatever stay there fish I don't care anymore all right, that is it for the Ecosynth and the Acto Entroplasma. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you. Well, I can't really show you. It's just a uh, very RNG based. So basically for the mining, I like to uh, as soon as I come out of Fortuna, I like to start hitting all of these uh, caves. Basically, the, the closest ones, uh, they seem to be like in this circle radius. The closest ones to Fortuna seem to be the biggest ones, um, while the outer the outer caves are a little bit smaller. Uh, I like to hit this range of three, so let me go ahead and make my way over there real quick because the um, the Marquise the uh, I totally forgot the name of the other one the blue one. So Marquise the blue one and the uh, what's it uh, the Hespas. Hespasin? Hespasin? Yeah, that one. Hespasin alloy, they're going to be getting... You're going to be getting them from the uh, mining. And basically, it's just ba basic luck. So, you, you got to mine your heart out and get those. Uh, let me cut real quick to what, when I get to this cave so I can show you more or less what my route is. Alright, here we are. In the uh, cave range, you basically come in through here. So, you come in a little bit... A little bit further away from the cave because they're actually pretty big so you make your way through here and then circle through all of them uh what i like to do is from way out here i like to go ahead and pick my uh plasma drill and check the map to see if there are some uh, deposits out here it looks like there is so we got one right here in the entrance somewhere uh right over here so basically make your way through all of these there we go zodian that's the one that we needed and i totally didn't do the um, mining animation just to do it a little bit quicker so make your way through these caves um you can see them on my map if you want to go back and take a look at them uh, it doesn't matter i think the um the red i believe the red ones will drop uh the Hespasin alloy while the blue ones dropped a little bit rarer resources like the Zodian and the Marquis this let me check on that real quick because I, I honestly haven't really cared which ones I mine but actually let me get some clarification on that because I'm not I honestly don't care which ones I mine so I don't specifically look out for uh, blues or or reds i kind of just mine everything all right so i got some clarification on that uh the red veins are actually this the, you learn something new every day the red veins are actually for alloys um i've never really cared since i mine everything anyways so red veins are alloys so you're gonna get the hespasim alloy from there um technically you're gonna get the hesperon uh mineral which you can um refine into has an alloy it's one to one so you know it doesn't matter if it, all you need is 150 of those and you don't need to get any more uh, because 150 hesperon refines into 150 uh Hesperson alloy while the blue veins will have um gems so you're gonna get your zodian and your thist from there which you're gonna go ahead and refine into the marquis thist and the zodian I have no idea what that refines into, honestly. So, pretty much that is it. Uh, well, one final thing. Obviously, you're going to need an Orican cell to be able to build the blueprint. But that's that's between the basic stuff like the salvage, uh, the alloy plates, and the ferrite. Basically, that, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I will address it as best I can. Um, I'm trying this new thing out where I'm trying to... Um, 
pretty much show how to farm every frame um, for you know basic beginners or intermediates that don't really know where to get the resources or maybe it's a new frame that has some special resources like these and you just don't you know you don't really know exactly where to get them so if you like these kinds of videos let me know and i will go ahead and make one for every frame so that everyone knows where to get them if you don't know for any reason and uh like i said if you got any questions leave me a comment and i'll be sure to go ahead and answer you all right thanks for watching you have a good one see you next time